Hello, this is Haku. Today we are reading in SCP-5000, also known as Why. If you are, are seeing this, please leave a like, leave a comment, and possibly subscribe to the video. This is going to be a long one. SCP-5000, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5000 is to be kept in a deactivated state within the standard storage unit available at Site-22. All files and intelligence retrieved from SCP-5000 are to be stored on a secure server with backups available on, on request from the Archival Department. Description: SCP-5000 is a non-functional mechanical suit identified with its internal schematics as an absolute exclusion harness, designed by the F SCP Foundation. Although SCP-5000 is believed to have once possessed a number of anomalous functions intended to protect and benefit its occupant, damage inflicted to it in the past means that it is currently only basic of only capable of basic file storage. For record of files contained within SCP-5000 upon recovery, see Archive 5001. SCP-5000 first appeared in a flash of light within SCP-579's containment chamber at Site 62C on December 4th, 2020, containing a corpse genetically identical to Foundation employee Pietro Wilson. Pietro Wilson is currently employed at exclusionary site 06 squared. Oh no, that's a thing. And Nessic Therapy has confirmed he has no knowledge of SCP-5000 memories concerning the, the events detailed within its archives. <coughs> This SCP in general is pretty unextraordinary, but the files within it, the archive, are what's really extraordinary about it. Archive 5001 Journal Entry 0001 one. I was going to say one from now on. My name is Petra Wilson. I don't know what's happening. I think I might be the only one left. The date is, um, oh, two, oh, one, twenty, twenty. Sorry, thought transcription is, sorry, is tricky. Sorry, I'm not used to this yet. Um, the date is uh, 0201 2020, February 1st, 2020. I've just, I've just escaped from exclusionary site 06. I think, I'm not certain, but I think everyone else is dead. Those guys, they were thorough. If I hadn't got to the suit, I'd be... Oh god. Draw an entry. Two. I need to get myself together or this thing isn't going to be legible at all. Most likely they're going to want some kind of record of, of this whole incident and for austerity. I'm currently on my way to the nearest foundation and installation. A small safe house for agents making their way through this part of the country. Most likely there won't be anyone there, but I should be able to get into contact with my superiors and find out what exactly is going on. D 
Things started around six, maybe seven hours ago. A group identifying themselves as Mobile Task Force Z19, Lonely Only. And certain infiltrators, maybe? And and filled into the site. They had proper identification and everything. And got everyone into the canteen. Then they started the shooting. Jesus, I I can still taste the blood. I can't get that awful metal taste off my tongue. It's a miracle I, I didn't get hit or trampled on. People were climbing over each other to get out of there. If I hadn't gone to the exclusion harness, I'd be dead. No doubt about it. Like I said, they were thorough. I'm a technician for the power grid on ESO6, so I don't fully get how this thing works, but I understand the basics. The this perception filter thing doesn't mean people can't see me, but it does mean they can't recognize the fact that they can see me. Which, I guess is the same thing when you get down to it. But those infiltrators, they didn't even take anything, they didn't even try to. I watched after I got into this thing. I was too scared. Freaking coward. To make a run for it. They just checked the bodies and left. An extra bullet for every head. They were just there to kill us. Drill entry 3. Finally made it to the safe house. After hours and hours of trudging through this. This gosh darn desert. Heard a few explosions in the distance. Maybe these Foundation sent an MTF to engage those infiltrators before they got away? Hope so. Never been happier to see bottled water in my life. A harness sustains your body while you're wearing it, apparently. But my mind still thinks I should be drinking. Human nature, I guess. Anyway, once I get these legs of mine rested, I'm going to try to get these systems online. I need to get in touch with the Foundation and find and out exactly what is going on. Holy frick. Download file 1. They set this to every government, news organization, and anomalous agency on the planet. Frick me. The following is a message com composed via a, a consensus of, of the L5 Council. For those who are not currently aware of our existence, we represent the organization known as the SCP Foundation. Our previous mission centered around the containment and the study of anomalous objects, entities, and other assorted phenomena. This mission was focused on our organization for more than 100 years. Due to circumstances outside of our control, this directive has now changed. Our new mission will, will be the extermination of the human race. There will be no further communication. Compose file 1. Immediately following the release of their worldwide announcement, the Foundation began their assault on mankind. The response to the anomaly is the Foundation that loose was as quick as it could have been. But the damage is being done, it's hard to tell what exactly is going on. But from my position here, accessing the Foundation and networking to keep track of the news, I managed to grasp a little. I'm going to get everything I, I know down, so that at, when this is over, if anyone's still alive, they'll know what happened to us. Relevant and Anomaly, 096, also known as a shy guy. 096 is a is an entity that if you see its face, you will be killed by. Action taken by the Foundation. Images of 096's face circulated on social media platforms. That toll had already reached hundreds before the images were taken down. For all I know, that thing is still going. SCP-169 
think 169 is a giant leviathan that sleeps lives in the ocean. A series of nuclear charges are detonated within and along 169's back, causing it to stir in its sleep slightly. The resultant earthquakes and tsunamis devastate a significant number of coastal settlements around the world. SCP-662 It is a handbell that when rung will... will um... <sighs> will summon something called a servant known as Mr. Deeds who will do what anything that you ask him to. Over the course of 24 hours, an individual whose appearance ap matches that of Mr. Deeds appears in the vicinity of several major heads of state and assassinates them using whatever tools are immediately available, disappearing just as quickly. I don't know why this stopped after the first day. Probably because uh, that was all of them all done. Anyway. SCP-610, the flesh that hates, is a disease that when made in contact with humans or any living organisms will turn them into fleshy masses of destruction, basically. Samples of SCP-610 are dispersed by embedded foundation agents within any major cities, including New York and Delhi. All civilians in the area, along with the agents themselves, are quickly infected and succumb to SCP-610. Further spread of SCP-610 is halted by the combined efforts of the Global Occult Coalition and the Church of the Broken God. SCP-682 A powerful or unkillable lizard that has a deep-rooted hatred of humanity. A lot of people who talk about 6A2 would like to compare it to the biblical figure of Satan. What the Foundation did was release this upon humanity, which would have already caused plenty of death and destruction just from that alone. I don't understand why this is happening. Download file zero. I mean, just two. This footage I managed to download between drinking sessions. Begin log. Reporter Maria Arya Henderson is speaking from inside a GOC evacuation tent. Scrolling header indicates that she is speaking. In the outskirts of Trosa, Sweden, behind her patients could be seen being treated by doctors in full protective gear. Bayer herself of is wearing a surgical mask pulled up slightly to allow her to speak against the a microphone, which kind of defeats the purpose if you ask me. Repeating what has been previously put out by the Global Cult Coalition, residents that have not already evacuated are, are advised to seal themselves inside their homes as quickly as possible using whatever materials are available. One of the doctors attending a, t a patient ends up with urgency, looking over to a soldier standing over the beds. We've got expiration! Get the eraser ready! Mario Henderson quickly begins to moving out of the tent. Out into a field of the field with similar installations. A loud buzzing sound can be heard from the tent behind her, and several flashing lights can be seen. Thick, thick smoke pours out a gap in, in the top of the tent. Any individual still, um, still in a compromised area are advised to keep watch over those around them. If any friends or family members begin, um, sorry, yes, begin exuding a noticeable, uh, minty smell, they are to be quarantined immediately. Feed cuts out. I later found out this is when and television stopped everywhere. Internet 2. World gone blind in a few seconds. Journal entry 5. It's funny. 
With the supplies in this place, not to mention the exclusion harness, I could probably survive for years right here. But the idea of being sat here with no idea what's going on in the outside world, it's unbearable. So I'm not sure whether I really want to know what's happening out there. But I was a kid, real sick all the time, not able to go out that much, I was really into detective stories. Sherlock Holmes and all that, that stuff. I always wanted to figure things out. I mean, my dad had this row of plant pots that's on the wall outside the house. And they were always getting knocked over, but I could never figure out what was doing it. That was pretty much... That's my peak detective of the obsession. So I was on the case like nothing else. I was a stupid kid. So I couldn't actually deduce anything. You understand? So I ended up buying this cheap spy camera and recording the wall overnight. It was a stray cat. My dad ended up kicking it to death. Like, I should have known he was a uh, curiosity. Well, you know what I'm saying? Everyone involved would have been better off if I minded my own business. Except my dad. But, screw him. Dang if you do, dang if you don't. Why would I be doing something than nothing? Besides, if I have the exclusion harness, harness, nothing that want to hurt me will ever know I'm there. I'm a tourist at the end of the world. Oh. Destination, Site 19. Closest real foundation insulation. Only makes sense. I'm getting some answers. Recorded file one. Context. Encounter with foundation elements a few days after leaving my shelter. Watching weird behavior. Begin log. Being a group of foundation soldiers in a clearing from a distance. Nine in total. Stood in a line. A tenth soldier, the commander, is slightly pacing back and forth in front of them. Uniform arms and insignia look like those of, uh, of MTF Epsilon 6, village idiots. After a few seconds, the commander claps her hands once and steps sword into the line. Commander to the first soldier in line. Performing the check now! Soldier number one. Of course! The commander takes out a knife and stabs the soldier in the, in the shoulder. There is no reaction. Commander, removing the knife. Get that wound treated! Soldier... Or nods. The commander proceeds to stab each soldier in the line and in the same way, with no reaction from any of the victims until the eighth, who, who noticeably... He wins this. Ugh! Got a live one! The commander and, and all the other soldiers quickly aim their guns and fire upon soldier number 8, killing him. He drops to the ground. The commander then moves to the ninth soldier and stabs him in his shoulder. No visible reaction. Alright, we're clear. Move out! MTF Epsilon 6 pack up their supplies and leave the area, leaving the corpse of the dead soldier where, where it is. Battery retrieve. If weaponry and basic medical supplies from the body. Bear it as well as I can afterwards. Closing notes. No freaking clue. <sighs> Record file 2. Context. Weird transmission I caught on an old radio. Don't know if it's important, but trying to get everything down for posterity. Begin log. Audio only. Voice and smell. Around my age, I'd guess. Seven. Five. Can you hear me? There is a hole shining in the holes between your eyelids. I have never been to Versailles before. I want to be loved. Nine. I am standing behind you now. 
five. I am two of us saying behind you now. The goddess eats the city in the sea. Nine. There's a hole in the floor with an answer waiting in it. Seven. Look, you're hatching. You're hatching. Message continues on loop. And log. Closing notes. Message stopped once I turned the radio over and saw that I was damaged for re repair. Am I feeling okay? Journal Entry 6 When I thought of Site 19 as being relatively close by, I never really took into account that it was probably with a vehicle in mind. Can't risk cars or anything like that. Even if I went unnoticed, the vehicle wouldn't. All it takes is one foundation and soldier or wandering anomaly to spot it, and I'm as good as dead. But still, marching through the woods, even with the harness is protection, isn't the most pleasant experience. It'd be hard to move out of the way if anything came everything through, for one. Just because things can't notice me, doesn't mean they can't run me down. Gives me time to think though, like why the heck am I even going to Site-19? What do I hope to accomplish? If I want to stay out of danger, survive as long as possible, I'd be best suited getting as far away from any Foundation personnel as possible. Not jumping right into the Viper's Nest, Answers, I guess. More than anything, I want answers, even if I get kicked to death afterwards. Oh, frick! I can find pictures of these things? Compose File 2 Reach Site 19. Security is in disrepair. Most of these anomalies let loose a while ago, so it's actually pretty easy to get in. Still stressful moving out the way of the researchers as they went about their business. They were still talking like colleagues, discussing how to get maximum human casualties like it was something they'd always been doing. But their eyes. It was like something was missing from them. Some smart some spark, sorry. I couldn't see them as human. Looking at their eyes, maybe not even alive. Hard to describe, but it gives me the creeps. Accessing the foundation database with some stolen senior stuff. Credentials, I think I've managed to put together a basic timeline of what happened right before their declaration of war. Or, I don't know what it all means, but I guess it's a start. Date. December 16th, 2019. Oh yeah, date and an event. The O5 mark a project called NUMA as being part of as being of special interest to senior staff. Apparently it was a mass amnestization project like Kaleidoscope, except mostly focused on the collective human unconscious. The psychospace. Whatever you want to call it. Apparently there's some kind of break through and mapping out this, at Psychospace, except I can't see what it was because it's freaking redacted. Typical. December 17th, 2019. A vote is undertaken by the O5 Council with the result being un unanimous. Ethics Committee also concurs. Don't know what the votes were about because it's freaking redacted. December 19th, 2019. A series of instructions, redacted instructions of course, are sent to all senior staff, members, and site directors. A wave of suicides and resignations go out across the foundation, with Tra Dr. Charles Gears being one of the employees resigning. December 22nd, 2019. A number of files are set into all remaining senior staff and versus site directors. 
with instructions to also disseminate those materials among the staff serving under them. Files are accompanied by, by the message, Harden your hearts. All suicides and resonations immediately cease following dissemination of the materials. December 25th, 2019. Full block on all communications in and out of Foundation sites. Termination of the majority of human and human sympathetic anomalies is performed by the staff at each, each site over the course of the next week. Information suggests an assassination team was sent after Dr. Charles Gear, but doesn't say whether they were successful or not. January 2nd. Oh, I thought it was February 1st. Okay. I have... They did their day a bit differently. 2020. Mobile task forces are dispatched to all exclusionary sites to execute all personnel. Immediately following the conclusion of these missions, the Foundation declares war on humanity. Not quite certain what the, all this means. Did the O5 Council send out some kind of a medic agent to get everyone to go along with them? But that wouldn't explain why the L5 Council would want to wipe out humanity in the first place. I don't get it. I just don't get it. More information on the anomalies the Foundation are actually using too. The news down, it's hard to get much solid information in outside of their own records. And even those are still gosh darn freaking redacted. I mean, it's against the world. What's the a point of redacting stuff anymore? Who cares? Just tell me what's going on. Forget. I'll put it all on the table for posterity or whatever. Love and anomaly and action take by foundation. SCP thirteen seventy, television service temporarily returns. All channels are propaganda speech is from SCP thirteen seventy. Rambling on and on about how he's going to take over the a world or whatever. This one isn't actually that bad. <sighs> SCP-1048 I don't know how the Foundation managed to catch the thing in the first place. But helicopter footage shows hordes of bears created by 1048 rushing through the streets of Paris. The footage isn't too clear, so I'm not sure, but it looks like there's a massive red teddy bear in the distance. And as well, walking around next to the skyscrapers. Oh, 1048 is a killer teddy bear. I guess that was a given. SCP-1290 Um... SCP-1291 and SCP-1292 are removed from their original position and used as a rudimentary projectile system to launch projectiles at a secure GOC installation called Genzer. Not 100% sure from the files, but it looks like it's just one of the frankly obscene number of anomalies they're using to try and bust in there. If you ask me, they'd be better off just firing missiles, but nobody is asking me because they've all got nuts. <laughs> SCP-1440 SCP-1440 is transported from refugee camp to refugee camp by mobile task force or its new U-22 rocket men, where its anomalous its effects cause rapid devastation to those fleeing communities. Strangely enough, the way these events are described in the files make it seem like SCP-1440 has no effect on the Foundation personnel assigned to it. SCP-1678 The Foundation intentionally abandons containment of 1678 with personnel from the immediate area. Once chaos is caused by additional anomalies make evacuation of London impossible, officials from the British Occult Service direct citizens to Take refuge in SCP-1678.
Once a city has reached capacity, the Foundation detonates a nuclear device stationed there prior to abandonment. I'm going to try investigating some more before getting out of here. See what I can find. Files deleted. Journal entry 7. It's been about three months since my last entry. God knows what I've been doing since then. The time between then and now is a complete blank in my memory. It looks like the files from that, from that period have, have been deleted as well. As far as I know, I should be the only one able to do that. So take that as you will. It seems like I've been through a few rough edges. I have a few scars I don't quite rec recognize. And I have a bandage wrapped around my temple. The exclusion harness doesn't seem to be damaged though, so I don't know what would hurt me. Did I fall off a cliff or something? Sad part is, I can actually see myself doing something like that. Never was the smartest. Side 19 is long un ungone. Well, it's still there, I assume, but I'm halfway across the country. Couldn't tell you what I... It's weird, though. I feel like I have a purpose now, even though I'm not 100% what sure what it is. Just where I need to go. There is a briefcase in my hand. I'm having trouble recalling exactly what Recalling what exactly is inside it. All I know is that it isn't round. I need to get it to SCP-579. The briefcase most likely contains SCP-055. The anti-meme. You can view it, but no matter what, you cannot... Not find. You cannot remember what it was. Anyway, journal entry, 8. I underestimated how long it would take to get to SCP-579. Site 19 was a trek all on its own, but 579 is another story entirely. I wouldn't even know where it was without this documentation, and I have no idea how I, which I have no idea how I obtained, but that's beside the point. I've stopped counting the corpses I've walked past. It's probably in the quadruple digits now. Jesus, maybe higher. Came across a, a dead body of a kid. A little boy in the house. I was grabbing some supplies from a while back. At first, I thought he'd just been shot in the head, but when I went to bury him, I could see there were things moving underneath his skin. Little pale worms. Hundreds of them that poured out the second I touched them. They all had his face. They were laughing. Scurred off into the drain. I don't try to bury people anymore. Keeping going is a lot different than you think. <sighs> Compose file 3. This thing in the briefcase is a godsend. Don't know what the hell it is, but if things are... getting too much for me, I just need to open it, and next thing I know, I'm miles further from where I, I just was. Feeling all warm from inside, like something gave me a pep talk. It's like my own personal skip button for when things are getting rough. Managed to get temporary access to the foundation database from the corpse of an agent I found half buried in the woods. Wolves were already helping it themselves to him, but they obviously didn't mind me taking his laptop. Didn't notice me anyway. The Foundation is still throwing everything they've got at everyone else. I'll put it in a table. Might as well. SCP-1 
SCP-2000. The Foundation intentionally triggers the eruption of Yellowstone, obliterating SCP-2000, which is also known as, as Deus Ex Machina, the one way to um, bring back humanity after an extinction event. For now, anomalies deployed by the Imana Charitable, Charitable Foundation have slowed down the environmental effects at an absurd rate, but it's still just a matter of time before we choke on ash. SCP-2200 Somehow, the SCP seemed to have mass-produced SCP-2201, and those swords are making their way into the hands of refugees. With all the victims, you, the SCP-2200 are coming down, SCP-2203 is overflowing with a mountain of living in SCP-2204, trapped under a mountain of dead SCP-2204. SCP-2241 One of the few human anomalies that weren't terminated. It appears that SCP-2241 is being used as a living weapon to destroy the biggest refugee camps that crop up, forcing survivors to remain in smaller groups. Unknown how they're getting it to be that loyal, but I doubt it's pleasant. Lays it, last information on its feet 2241 says that it's being deployed to assist with the siege of Ganser. Apparently, they're having some trouble. SCP 2466. SCP 2466 was also being used in order to compel survivors originating from Lake California to perform. Actions both socially and physically, socially destructive and physically hostile. This was apparently effective, but after 4,020 its use of SCP-2466, it crashed and became unstable. Guess there weren't any residents left. SCP-2639. SCP-2639 were are being dispatched to survivor community. These installation for groups that oppose the Foundation in order to kill everyone present. Apparently they were told that they were fighting monsters that had escaped from containment and were destroying the world. Clearly they figured out that wasn't the case, because they refused to do anything since about the sixth time they were deployed. Good for them. Journal Entry 9 It's nice having company. Even if, even if they don't know you're there. I'm sat around a fire with a group of GOC soldiers who are trying to make your, their way. Well, I don't think, think they actually have anywhere to go at this point. Just wandering, maybe. I thought about revealing myself, trying to ask them um, to help me to get to 579, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe I've just gotten used to not existing. Forget being a tourist. I'm a ghost. The students really wonder. Managed to access their connection to the GLC e database with it while they were making coffee. The news isn't good. Downloaded file 3. Context Interview log from an interrogation facility inside Ganser. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time a captured member of Foundation personnel has spoken during interrogation. Interviewer is a Commander Morrison with a scientist called Dr. Rhodes also being there. The guy being interrogated is a member of Mobile Task Force Omega-2, Samuel Ross. Also known as Omega-2 is Secret Keepers. No video, only audio. Don't know if that's something wrong with the file or just the way it was recorded in the first place. Begin log. Commander Morrison. Do you know where you are? Samuel Ross. I'm in Ganser, right? You guys grabbed us while we were trying to sneak in. That's right. Do you know why you're here? You're going to interrogate me, I assume. Doctor. 
Confirmed. Subject has nothing in plan in sight of no mental agents or agneo hazards either. You're safe to begin. Okay. None of your colleagues we've spoken to have have talked. Not a one, not a word. Why are you talking to me in now? We've met before, do you remember? I'm sorry. In that joint operation in Tenerife a few years back with the Seagull Prince? You remember? I was wearing a gas mask back then. So you probably don't recognize me. But I recognize you. And it gave me a chuckle. That's why I'm talking. That's the only reason? Yeah. When we caught you trying to sneak into the city with the refugees, you and your comrades started firing into the crowd at random. Men, women, and children... All murdered for no reason. Don't you think that's crazy? <laughs> Fricker. That's funny to you? Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. It's just... I thought that was a little hypocritical. What? Well, I mean, you're interrogating me like the information I know again will help you. But there's no time for you to really do anything. The way I see it, no matter how many times you fire Abel at her, Professor Crow's uh, Arova will rip this place open before long. But you're still acting like you can do something about it. Don't you think that's crazy? If you just spoke enough to talk nonsense, we can always try I enhance this interrogation. I don't want to, but I'll do it. Do what you want. Once you realize you're not supposed to feel pain, there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. What do you mean by that? You... No, you wouldn't want me to say. I very much do. I'm not talking to you. That doesn't make any sense. Tell me now. You're sure? You're so good on inoculations? Cleared on all other foundation kill agents, yes. Then spit it out, Ross. Stop stalling or we'll have to get unpleasant. Fine. Inaudible. I... I didn't catch that. You have to speak up. The mic microphone has only has so much gain. Information excised. Commander Morrison and Dr. Rose can be heard screaming loudly. Red cracks and sounds of rushing wind are also audible. The screaming, which grows as higher pitched over time, continues for the remainder of the recording. Look what you've done to yourself. I told you you wouldn't like it, didn't and you? That's why you hear your voice, but you wanted to know so badly. I really liked you guys, so I was trying to be nice. We're so kind to you, you know. We find the light so you can die in the dark. Disgusting. That is a quote from SCP-682. Mm. <sighs> Apparently right after this, some kind of emergency arose inside Edgar Anzar, and the city ended up being destroyed from both the inside and the outside. Files don't mention these specifics, but the GLC may be done. Files deleted. Journal entry 10. It's getting hard to keep going. When the GLC are, were keeping up the fight, there was this sense that things could be turned around. But with them on a run now too, it's easy to feel there's no point to all this. With the Ganser taken care of, the Foundation has turned their full attention back to everyone else.
I don't eat or drink anymore. The harness takes care of all that anyway. There's too much of a risk that anything I consume will be contaminated by one of the awful viruses the Foundation is trying to spread. I've seen corpses in pretty much every state imaginable by this point. Some of them walking around even. Every time I open the briefcase to skip, I make a little less progress, feel a little worse. Whatever was helping me before, it's like I've grown numb to it. Wouldn't be the only thing. Why am I even going to 579? Do I actually have a reason? Compose file 4. Foundation's still freaking us. Here's a table. All about it. Relevant anomaly. Action taken by foundation. SCP-3078. Apparently the Church of the Broken God managed to get the internet back up and running in some areas. Only the foundation. Freak that. And pretty quick by uploading thousands of copies of 3078. You're pretty much every medium available, so the internet would back down. SCP-3179 Thing was freed from containment as the Church of the Broken Gods are trying to rebuild things. Sparks a civil war with the, inside the church over whether this thing is mechane or not. Really put a damper on their ability to help out. Plus, it's making as many terminate things as it can, so that's fun. SCP-3199 SV3199 and, and eggs are being airdropped by pretty much wherever. I'm sure you can imagine how that's going. I don't remember what 3199 is, so I'm just gonna see what it is. I think I should know, but it'll take a minute. Oh, humanity refuted. I remember this. Maybe right more later. Journal entry 11. I've been making my way towards 579. Maybe a little slower than before, but who can blame me for the lack of motivation? I've been seeing some strange things lately. Stranger than usual, I mean. First are the blinkers. There's been quite a few of these around lately. Now I'm pretty sure these were created by the foundation, even if I don't know how. I don't know most things just add up uh, add this to the list. There's statues. Statues of soldiers. Empty Afghan words with empty sockets for eyes. Their arms are carved into flames like what you'd see on a praying mantis or something. They're harvest as long as you look at them, but the second you look away, they can move, and they're fast. Someone cut through an entire crowd of people when a gust of smoke blocked it from view for just a second. I'm wary of them. I mean, looking at them stops them too, so even if I don't perceive where I am, I'm going to deduce, they're going to deduce I'm there. They would just start slicing everything in sight, and, and then that's the end of me. I need to do my best to avoid them completely. Basically, 179 turned into something else. Second thing I saw is... Well, it's a lot weirder. It was on the horizon, like a person stretched out. No, that's not the best way to describe it. It's like the space around them was stretched out, and they were being stretched along with it. Like some kind of bad Photoshop effect. The body went from the ground up to the clouds, and their jaw all swung at right angles. There were these... 
gaps as well. Black gaps in the space around its body like wings. It just floated forwards like that. There are foundation guys there too, but they were fighting it. Shooting it with guns and rockets. How oh, fricked up is it that I was thinking the foundation fighting anomaly is weird. Maybe they were like me, managed to get out when this all kicked off. Thought about talking to them, but decided not to. Can't risk it. <sighs> Got out of there. I need to get to 579. I need to do something. Anything. Journal entry 12. Saw a kid die today. Could have helped her. Didn't. I'm a piece of rubbish. Compose file 4. Relevant anomaly. An action taken and by foundation. 4290. The use of a sample of SP008 enhanced by I 914, the foundation reanimates the corpse of 4290 and lets it loose. KG answers from the serpent's hand and gauge, but the file isn't clear on what the results are. Where is the library detached from this universe? It looks like these guys stayed behind. Idiots. 4666, the foundation used temporal knowledge to make it so. It's technically Christmas ever. Oh, frick it. Nobody's ever going to read this anyway. Record file 3. No input for context. Begin log. View is, is of the interior of an abandoned drill resort from the front door. The night sky can be seen through a broken window. A teenage girl is sitting on a makeshift fire in the middle of the store. A ruby amulet is hanging around her neck. Perception filter is disabled. The girl jumps back, alert, picking up a rusty, a rusty pipe as a weapon. Who are you? I, I recognize you. The necklace, I mean. Pause. The girl groans, dropping the a pipe. Ah, frick. They said you'd kill me? You're gonna be here a while. No, I'm... I'm... I got away too. Did you get away too? The girl leans forward, squinting to see Petra's face. Jesus, you look like a like crap, pal. When was the last time you slept? The suit, um, you don't need to sleep with it on. You do need to sleep. Your face, it's just, it's seriously a disaster, man. You hate to see it. Can I come in? The girl steps back, gesturing theatrically at the story with one arm. But of course, there is enough broken glass for everyone. Pietro staggers in and it sits down on the floor. The sound of crunching glass can be heard. I was joking, you know. You could have grabbed a chair. It's fine, the suit's sturdy. Suit yourself. She sits down opposite. Bye, this is Dr. Bright. He is trapped within a necklace, and he is basically immortal through body possession of other er, 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 people. Anyway, that's a fancy piece of kit you got there. Jester's the necklace. Wanna trade? 
No way. I've read the file. Worth a shot. Been a while since you left, huh? Not been much to laugh at. Not even when... And Pesterbot showed up on all the TVs? <laughs> okay, that was funny. So you got away, A2. I mean, assuming you are the Foundation guy, not one of the many people I've pissed off in my lifetime here for revenge. Right, that was the same thing? Now you're getting it. Yeah, I'm Foundation. Was Foundation. I mean, got lucky when this all started. Got into the suit and escaped, you? Well, I was senior staff. We've been told about the plan before anyone else. But damn, if I can't remember what it was. Probably because of the second file. The second file? You saw it? Stands. What was it? Whoa, cool your jets, kid. We've got all the time in the world. They were just a bunch of... They were just a bunch of images, eggs, trees, religious stuff. Then we named anything to me that it says, so I guess I had something encoded in them. Didn't take like they should have. Taft's necklace. Because of this thing. Pietro sits down. Don't know about that. I've pretty much had everything that can happen to me, well, happen to me. I know what a magnetic agent feels like. It didn't feel like that, more like I was being released from something than something you can force on me. I... I see, so you don't really know what's going on either. Nope! Frick. Frick. The girl removes a small bottle of beer from her pocket and takes a swig. So, you heading somewhere or just wandering around feeling sorry for yourself? I'm heading to 579. <laughs> if you're suicidal, there are easier ways to go about it, believe me. You know what it is? Not a clue, which is concerning because I'm kind of a big deal. Doesn't matter, I have to get there. Why? I just do. Where are you heading? 1437. Gonna see if I can piss into another universe and throw this amulet down there and see where I wake up. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Good luck to you. Sounds up. I'd wish you luck too, but we both know you're not getting it. Day's about to break. I'm heading off. Okay. The girl stands up and moves to the front door. She lingers out at the end of the store for a moment. I hope you find what you're looking for at least. She leaves. Me too. Journal entry 13. Hi journal, it's been a while. Right now I'm looking at site 62C. Where SAP 579 is supposed to be. There are no guards as far as I can see, and all the security is down. It looks like the place has been abandoned for a while. I was under the impression that this place was extremely high priority. But it looks like the foundation doesn't agree with me anymore. I have the briefcase in my hands. It's difficult to, to breathe. I feel like everything will end this soon, one way or another. I'm heading in. Drill entry 14.
Hi again, Journal. I know I live ended in the last entry so dramatically. It's been about 30 seconds since then, but I have an important update. The second I got close to Site 62C, I got a feeling like someone was pressing a gun against the back of my head. Like I was standing right on the edge of a roof, and someone's hands were on my back, ready to push me. Some flight or, f or flight stuff dialed up as far as it would go. I don't know what SCP-579 is, but I know it's looking at me. Recorded file 4. Context. Oh frick, oh frick, oh frick. Begin log. Using inside of a hallway within, within site I-62C. Severe damage is visible on the walls. Appearing as if it was done under using usage of a large knife. The lights overhead flicker. The lights flicker again. When they come back on, a statue of a soldier with lights or arms is visible underneath it them. As empty it sucks as I should be. Erdit's face is locked into a snarling expression. Oh, I didn't read this dialogue. I mean, can't really. Frick. Frick. There you go. Closing notes. What's wrong? They're here! Journal Entry 15 What's right? Even if they can't notice me, they figure it out I'm here. Slashing everything in sight. Gouge one of my legs. Hurts like frick. But need to keep moving. They're not chasing me, but they're heading to the same place. Need to get there fast. Need to keep watching them. Journal Entrance Entry 16 Made it, made it, made it, made it, made it, made it! Journal Entrance 17 That's not fair! But I made it! That's not fair! They're stuck behind the door. I can hear them slashing at it, but it's reinforced. We'll hold for a little while. A co man's at least. I'm in an observation in chamber. Full of instruments for monitoring for monitoring SCP-579, the actual containment in chamber is uh, right below me. I can just barely see it. If I strain my eyes a little, there's a hole. There's a hole in the floor that leads right down there. I know where 579 is. Even if the instruments weren't here, I can feel it. You can't be near it without feeling it. Probably for a second, I thought I could just drop the briefcase into the hole and be done with it. After walking halfway across the world, I guess I haven't earned the right for something to be easy. From the angle of the hole where at or 579 is, the briefcase wouldn't even come close to touching it. That's why it's making a contact act as if I were the only way it's making contact is if I were to jump into the hole and throw it on my way down. But that height? During the briefcase will be the last thing I do. Of course. A freaking course. It's taken my whole life to realize, but I'm not out the kind of person that can be a detective. I'm just the murder victim. I died for someone else's story and the human race is going with me. I know who done it, how done it, but those were obvious. Everyone knows so those were hands me. I don't know why in the end. I couldn't figure out even a single thing. Why is this happening? Why is the Foundation killing everyone? Why is this happening? Why did he send out their, those files? Why is this happening? Why did the guns are, uh, are fell? Why is this happening? Why am I, I taking this briefcase across the world? Why is this happening? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I... Why am I going to die? Is there a reason? If anyone is ever reading this, please, please figure it out. Explain it to me. Someone. Anyone. I don't get it. I don't get it. They're about to get in. First foot forward.
Journal Entry 18 Oh, so that's how it is. Life Science Lost Here are a few footnotes. The corpse was found under the a harness, aka a Petro, died from falling. Actually, I don't think it really matters. Point is, this was a long SCP file to read. <sighs> this has been SCP-5000. Why? If you have any questions in the comments about me, please ask them. Either way, I would love it if you would leave a like, subscribe, and comment on my video of some sort. I'll see you tomorrow, if my voice has recovered from this long reading.